<laughs> Let, let's talk about the, the data on your main screen. So I see you have uh, 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 distance. No? Okay, yeah. Basically, it depends on my ride. Uh, so if it's, how you change it from time yeah. to time? Then. So if it's city riding, all you need is just the distance, the speed, and uh, especially the uh, temperature. Uh -oh. I have that. And uh, you lang. I don't see temperature sa maraming uh -oh. Garmin users. No? And it's important to you para ano, hydration. Yeah, uh, and uh, somehow, kasi na ano na ako, and experience ko na yung nag overheat ako. Uh -oh. And then when, when I got home, kinda ko yung temperature, umabot na ng 40. And, and if that's unchecked, parang heat stroke ang magiging result. Yeah, because I didn't understand. Sabi ko, ano itong pakiramdam ko na to? The first time ko maramdaman. I, I felt so uh, weak, dizzy. Sabi ko kumakain naman ako. Ayan. Sabi ko na heat stroke na ata ako. Ayan. So especially I do solo ride a lot. Uh -huh. Solo rider ako. So since then nag temperature ako para alam ko kung um, if I need to take a time out pag masyado nang nag yeah. Something Pero, others can learn from. So maganda pala yeah. may temperature. Tapos yung gradient uh -huh. ng uphill para ano lang, it's just for prep mindset of uh, mental uh, preparation uh, na alam na okay 10% okay 12% so kunyari the reason why it's very important to me so alam ko yung pakiramdam ng 10 12% uh, gradient so alam ko kung gaano nakahirap and then alam ko na rin kung lumalakas ako because pag nahit ko ulit yung 12% and I don't exert much effort ibig sabihin lumakas ako tama tama so pag nahirapan ulit ako ibig sabihin oh shoot I need to do timing uh, training again. Ang ano ang methodical no ng mindset mo no yeah. sa, sa so, riding. Yeah. So, yon and distance is very important to me because yeah. I I distance ako eh, rather than time. Gets, so, gets. So, kung 50 ako today or 75 uh yun ang importante sa akin. Okay. Tatanungin ko muna if there is a group right tatanungin ko ilan ang distance. Gets, gets. Yon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically so, it's just so Basic lang pag pero pag nag-otak sa ko iba na yan. Mas madami ba? Mas marami-rami. Oh, oh, oh. But uh, I don't I don't look at this as much. I, I only check when I stop. I see. Pero while riding, dito na ko speed. No, I don't do that. Because I'm, my eyes always on the road. I see. Alam mo naman dito para tayo nasa gera lagi. Correct, so, correct. And I could tell din na uh, five data points na para mas malaki-laki din yung numero. Oh, yeah. Mas madali oh, makita. Mas madali makita. Tapos dinidim ko lang chat so I can say battery. Gotcha. My main screen, usually the basic stuff. No? Ah, konti lang. No? Hindi oh, na, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, madami na rin. So what are these? You have the speed over here. Uh, and then you have the distance time, cadence, uh, of course the gradient, and the total ascent, as ascent uh, okay, of the ride. Okay. But the thing is, I limited it because I don't wear my glasses when I ride it. So ah, it has to be, yeah, it has to be visible also. Because yeah. the, the, the more uh, grid boxes you put, the smaller the numbers get. Exactly. Yeah. Ito, I'm interested in cadence. It means you have a cadence sensor. Yes. Nasaan siya? Ito, yung nakakabit sa left crank, no? Left crank. Yeah. Um, hindi ka pa bumibili ng um, power meter pedals, obviously. Is, is that uh, in the horizon? May balak pa tayo? Not really. Oh. Plus, I don't know. But somehow it computes on its own. Eh. When, when... Pero more on ano lang yun eh. Uh, parang uh, uh, in intelligent uh, extrapolation. Right, right. It won't really give you the real thing. So, at saka cadence sensor naman, power meter for if you want to take it to the next level. Parang bike na rin na maliit. Parang wheel set na rin kasi. Ayan. So, what, what's, the, what's your unit called? This is the Garmin 520. 520. Okay. And happy ka naman? Yeah, pretty, pretty happy with it. I, I can do this. Okay, I've got a lot on my screen. Um, I know many people like to have a few numbers only. I'll just have it all to any way I know where to look. So I have the time of day, I've got my speed, my distance, elapsed time, calories. Calories for me are very important to have. Um, that reminds me it's time to eat. If I've gone on for a thousand calories already and I have not eaten, I'll be bonking very soon. That's an interesting mindset because I do the inverse. 
the more calories I burn, ando na ako sa yes, nasunog ko yung kinain ko kahapon. So nasa weight loss aspect ako, ikaw nasa refueling. Fueling, yeah, a fueling aspect, no? Different folks, different uh, Then I have the elevation uh, gain in total ascent. And then a percentage of maximum heart rate. I don't really use the number, like whether it's a 170 or 180, because the clearer picture for me is not a number, but when you are 90% of your heart rate, or 80%, or you're, you know, you're relaxed when you're 50% of your maximum heart rate, right? So it's a clearer picture to me. Then I also have my cadence. And where does the data come from? From your super uh, expensive Garmin no, power well, meter. It, yeah. I got uh, the Garmin vector uh, pedals, which are double-sided um, uh, power meters. Left and right. The no? left and right. Yeah, yeah. So lots of data you can pull out from there. Nice. Even the offset of your strike point, no? whether you're two millimeters off center, to the inside, yeah, yeah. Wow. Two millimeters to the inside or one millimeter to the outside. Um, and then I've got my three second power average. I don't know what that is. It's not the instantaneous power. It's not a 10 second uh, delay, right? It averages over three seconds. So that's about what you're putting out currently. And why is this important to you? It's important for me because, um, well, let me just go for my last one, the grade, you know? So that is, you know, how steep the road is. I'll go back to these two. These two, maximum heart rate and the power meter, they are my limiters. I see. So when I'm spending energy or effort in a place I don't know or a place that will be a difficult day, I have a budget. Let's say 85% of my heart rate or only 200 watts. I may feel feisty and I'll have a lot more to give and my friends leave me behind. But I know my budget. Gotcha. And more often than not, I'll catch up to them because they'll probably get exhausted while I just keep steady at my budget. And I usually catch up to them. So it's it's really knowing your budget. That's whether it's your heart rate, whether it's your power meter or your both. Right or both, so but I'm just know what you. I feel I feel bad when you all leave me. Like my EQ is like, come on, catch up. But then I just know that if I stay at my numbers, I'll catch up. Your unit is a Garmin. 530. 530. Oh, so we want to see your uh, main screen. Ah, 10 grid ka den, just grid. like me. So yeah. ano mga nanjan? So you have your speed, your average speed, distance, elevation, heart rate, mm -hmm. cadence, which I don't have in spike. Uh -huh. Uh, the time, lapse time, total ascent, and the grade. Okay, interested ako sa, sa heart rate, no? Uh, I understand you wear a chest thing. Yes, I wear a chest when I ride outside the village. But uh -huh. when I ride inside the village, I just use my Garmin watch. Uh -huh. I just broadcast my heart rate to the unit. Actually, si Rabang isa sa nag, isa sa mga una nag-explain sa akin ng difference ng chest and wrist where this is more reliable. This is more accurate. It's like more uh, say real time compared to this one. This uh, this lags a bit compared to the heart at the chest. Ano ang uh, difference more or less? Two two to four BBM. Significant, then. Significant when you're like uh, doing right. hard efforts, right? Oh, oh. You're monitoring your heart rate. Okay. That's why I, I bought this. Yeah, <laughs> and you have uh, the Garmin sleeve. Is there a technical term for the rubber lining? It's just a silicon, like, like a cell phone case. Okay. okay. So <laughs> I put a screen protector that came with the case. Just like a phone. Yeah. Well, it's been my first page uh, ever since. Uh, mm. So. Normally, I have a seven grid uh, first page for uh -huh. my for my rides. Uh, I have uh, two speed uh, data in, on top, so I have the speed and of course the average speed uh -huh. for me to know if I'm, I'm actually uh, in the right pace. Pag lumalampas ka na ng normal mo na 50 kph. Normal kph. Oh, kph. Uh, <laughs> Parang di ko maalala kailan na ako na kagaya. Yeah 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 yeah. Alam mo tama ingat tayo. May ingat. Uh, 25 lang 20 yung uh, oh. ganon. Average speed ko for the day is of course oh. 23.9. Then, of course, I need to have my big graph of my heart rate. Oh. And the heart rate is everything. Uh, some people budget based on power output. Oh. But and where, where is the data coming from? From your watch or you have a chest thing? I'm actually use, uh, using my watch. Uh, it's actually a Phoenix. And I'm broadcasting my heart rate from here. Okay, wrist monitor. So at least uh, I can see my heart rate zone. But of course, other than the graph, uh, other than the graph, 
uh, meron pa rin akong heart rate zone uh, indication uh, uh, sa pag Because you're, you're a visual person, siguro. I am, uh, I you, am. Re- you read data this way, mas may absorption sa'yo. Yeah, ever yes. since, even kahit sa watch, I need to have that visual uh, data at least. And I guess uh, sa buhay tsaka sa trabaho, visual person ka visual, rin. Visual, uh, data, data-driven decision sa'yo. Correct, correct. And uh, some people use their... Um, Diba, meron siya lang Climb Pro, diba, na page. Oh. But ako, I put my grade na sa first page pa lang. Uh, kasi there are means may mga false flats. Mm. And I have to know if that uh, that uh, route is actually a false flat. But even a normal climb, yung mga hindi nakakuha ng Climb Pro, at least nakikita ko na yung grade. Yes. So I can manage my mindset. Mindset, nga, diba? yes. And of course, I have my cadence to see my Wait, patients. Wait, so you have a cadence sensor, ibig sabihin? Meron din, meron din. Ano to, uh, power meter? Oh, it's actually it's just a regular this cadence one. sensor, okay, yeah. Okay, in my yes. Crack. So okay. it's very helpful and efficient. Oh. And of course, lastly, I have my distance. <laughs> this is my setup. It's a 10 box grid and I use a Garmin Edge 830. My previous unit was a Garmin Edge Explorer, yung pute. If you've been following me for a while now, you must be familiar with that unit. I dropped that. I, cr- I, I, I just totally wrecked that unit. It just popped off the, the mount, so I had to get a new one. So, ito, 830. I use a 10-box grid setup. So, madame, and the numbers are smaller, of course, as, as, as you uh, change it to show more data. The numbers get smaller. Eh, kaya naman, kaya naman. And para isang tingin na lang, I don't want to swipe and swipe and look at the other stuff. I just want it to be in, on, on the main screen. Isang tingin na lang. And I know where to look anyway. Okay, so you have speed, distance, calories, time of day, total ascent, average speed, timer, elevation, heart rate, and grade. And some of the most important stuff that I look at are number one, heart rate. Okay, um, important. It's, it's sort of my, uh, it, it's a signal to slow down. It's a signal to take it easy. It's also an indicator that I could do more. And uh, the heart rate data comes from my watch. This is the Garmin um, Tactical... What uh, is <laughs> Garmin Tactical... Tactic something. <laughs> Pardon me, I forgot what it's called. Uh, so, heart rate. And I set it up in a way that it's going to beep. It's going to give me a notice if I hit a certain heart rate. And I assigned 180 as my max heart rate. And the last time this beep was during the Clark gravel race where I hit my highest heart rate ever at 198 it just went crazy and my watch said something so uh, I slowed down so that's super important Uh, heart rate Um, distance of course uh, on my daily rides on my daily fitness rides uh, I I do it uh, based on distance every day I manage to get 35 to 45 time of day also is important so uh, I know uh, you just have to be mindful of the time, I guess. Uh, not much explanation needed there, right? Uh, grade, of course. Grade to understand the slope. No? Average speed and speed, of course. Uh, timer. I also look at that to understand uh, how much time I've been riding. Elevation and calories. Calories. Um, I look at it from the point of view of um, someone who has to burn what he ate. <laughs> it's not an indicator that I have to eat. It's an indicator of yes, I burned what I ate this morning or yesterday. So, medyo fat loss and weight loss perspective um, view ko sa calories. Ayan, 10 box grid, Garmin Edge 830. And I want to leave you with a bonus data point that Garmin will not show you. Top secret, there's a little bit of mental math involved here. You have to have Strava, okay? I'm going to show you how to compute for BPH. What is BPH? I'll tell you as we go on. So you know how in Strava, at the end, there's this uh, bit that shows you uh, the pictures you've taken during the ride. Okay, you're going to count those pictures and you're going to divide the number of pictures by the number of hours you've ridden. It's going to give you your BPH or pictures per hour. So but you know, it's fun to poke a little fun at your ride or at your friend's ride. So pictures per hour, bilangin nyo lang yung number of pictures divided by the number of hours you've ridden. PPH. You're welcome.
Thank you.